Hey guys, Kimsi here and welcome back to Fernbus Simulator. Still haven't had enough of this amazing game, I really love the update. I am enjoying driving this, as you guys might have noticed with the recent number of episodes we've had. So in the previous one, we actually went from Dresden, passed by Leipzig and stopped at Halle. So we will start our journey here and I think in the previous episode I mentioned going north to Magdeburg. I think that can work. Work our way towards Wolfsburg and uh, Brunswick. And I think those two I haven't been to before. Yeah, and discovered bus stop. Nice. Alright, so we can explore that way then. Alright, let's go start a new route and this is going to be episode 15. So let's use that for uh, easier tracking. Man, there's so much to explore here, huh? Why, why do I have a line there? So we start in Halle. Stop by Magdeburg. How long will that be? And then pass by Wolfsburg and Brunswick. Braunschweig. That's going to be 317 kilometers. I hope it wouldn't be too much. We'll see what the game comes up with. Check-in time could be 5 minutes. Let's go with that. <coughs> and the bus. Hmm. So we've had VDL for the last two episodes. Look at how smooth that is. Beautiful performance from Fern Bus. We could go back to an MEN's Lions coach. Or a new plan Skyliner. Or the Comfort class. Hmm. It's a bit hard to choose, isn't it? Oh, the Cetra. I remember this one. Yeah. Because the, there is... So it's a Cetra, but I don't think they got the license. So that Cetra is only there because of the skin that we got in the Steam Workshop. So let's go with that. Yeah. It's been a while. I don't even recall what it looks like. So if you look at this, Flexbus Standard Logo Cetra. And I think that is from... Yeah, author is Yan71 Yantik. I think Yantik is how you call that. There you go. Do I want painted rims? Mm, yeah, let's go painted rims. Why not? More colorful that way. Alright. Weather is dynamic. Time is... Let's start off early in the morning because it looks like it's going to be a long, long journey. Let's start maybe 6 a.m. Yeah. All right, all right. That's that's nice lighting, and it's nice that you can actually see how it looks now from here. So if I look at maybe 5 a.m., it's going to be very dark. Actually, not really. Maybe we can start earlier. Huh? Four. Yeah, let's start at four, a bit dark, and then we can experience how it is when it uh, when sunrise. Basically, that's perfect. By the way, I, I know a lot of guys have been requesting for Tourist Bus Simulator and don't worry, we will come back to that game. We will switch to that game when it's ready, but right now the update is not quite ready for it yet. So Fern Bus has been optimized already, yeah, and that's why it's so smooth and that's why I love playing it again. But Tourist Bus is still in progress. So we will wait for that to happen before we get into it right so right now the update is still in beta and i heard from jack that it's not quite stable yet so stay tuned all right we will uh, make it work eventually okay <clears throat> let's go and reset that oh that looks lovely beautiful steering wheel love the texture on that one man that looks amazing we'll keep the pop-up there the gps on the lower right so you guys can see where we're going and so we have more info start the engine goodness that's amazing that's an amazing sound let's actually go ahead and yeah that sounds even more so amazing with the lights with the uh, windows down rather what is this Turn on the headlight with L. One more. There you go.
Sorry, I'm just fiddling with the controls. It seems a bit weird. I don't know why. And uh, do we really need that pop-up? Because we have this beautiful GPS right there. And I can actually zoom in and see something. Wow, this is much better than the VDL. I can see something from there, so I don't think we need this pop-up window anymore. I can just zoom in when I need. Like, if I'm confused what the speed limit will be, I can zoom in there and I have an idea that says 30 there, even though it's not the most legible. But yeah, it's not too shabby. Arrival at Halle should be around 4 p.m. What time is it right now? Let's log into the system. Make sure that we are on track. Okay, yeah, 4.02 is when we leave. Okay, that's fine. Let's turn on the air conditioning. I'm guessing that should be somewhere here. There you go. Um, now, how do we adjust the temperature? Is that automatic? I guess it's some kind of climate control here. That's the only thing I can press at least. Stop break. I think everything else we can play later. Driver monitor. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Destination displays already on. Reversing camera washing. That's cool. Voltage, night lights. Yeah, let's turn that on later. Love those sounds. Luggage we can lock. Yeah, I think that's good. Alright, most of the stuff are there. What else can we press here? There was something there. And this is what's amazing about Fernbus. You can actually click the buttons. Steering column adjustment. Oh, is there such a thing? Oh, that's nice. Don't know if it works though. Lane assistant warning. Oh, that's cool. Does that work? Do those work? That's pretty nice. Automatic particle filter cleaning. Window shades. You don't need that. All right. This is the. These are the switches that I was working on a while ago. That is zero. Oh, that's auto. Oh, that's nice. They didn't know there was like an auto thing there. And this is like high beams yet, I think, and fog lights maybe. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, switch lights. I go to auto. And I... One more. And one more. Yeah, let's go to auto. Alright. Let's see if that changes later. Maybe it depends on time of day. I don't know, maybe there are light sensors or something. You guys let me know, okay? Alright. Loosen parking brake. Where's the parking brake? There on the left side. Good. Let's get going. I also increased the volume a bit so that you guys can hear the engine a bit more because I was listening to the recording and it sounded a bit... Uh, it sounded a bit uh, soft from my ears. So let me know if this is better, okay? I love the sound of the engine. Definitely liking it better. The indicator's not as clicky as the VDL, I think. And thank you guys for letting me know about the VDL. So the VDL is a Dutch company. Can't remember what the VDL stands for exactly, but those are Dutch words. And they bought out Daft Bus, from what you guys tell me. So thanks for the info. The engine does sound a bit weird at times. But maybe that's really how it sounds like. Hmm. Let's maybe put that up. Maybe that is better. Actually, I like this because if you can see in the dashboard, in the computer dashboard, there's actually a digital speedo. That makes it a lot easier for me to make sure that I am within the speed limit, which is in this place 50 kilometers per hour in city limits. That's nice, I love it. Oh, am I in a curb or something? Feels weird, feels heavy. Okay, with the windows up, the indicators became super clicky. <laughs> Might have gotten a bit more than I can chew on that one. Super clicky. I'll take it. Alright. 
does feel weird though. When it stops, it kind of takes a while for it to accelerate again. Anyway, we'll see how it, we can work with that. Maybe it's just a matter of getting used to the bus. It behaves very differently compared to the VDL. Alright, go to neutral. Let's open the doors. I love those sounds. Beautiful idle sound as well. Alright. Let's go ahead and check on the passengers. How's everybody doing? Quick and back. That might be a bit too loud. Alright. Alright. Let's go and check the guys in. Just breeze through them. Aha! Imposter. No, just a mistake in there. Aha! Not the wrong call. This express check-in is super helpful. Okay. So we got two people out of the way. No, it's one beautiful bus. It's a bit noisy though. To the set, it's a bit noisy, I must admit. Let's have a look. So if we look at this one, we have eight people. Everybody's checked in. Let's close the doors. Everybody good? Yeah. That looks nice. Everybody settled. Let's close the doors. And make sure that everything is on. Especially Wi-Fi. That is something that our passengers cannot live without. Oh, that's fancy. Look at that. Passenger monitor. Alright. Let's turn on the plug. Kitchen clearance, hostess clearance, I wonder what that is. Restroom clearance, and I think that's good. Night lights. Driver lights, no, we don't need that. Passenger lights. Let's go and dim it. Reading light clearance. Enable all reading lights. How does that work? Okay, that one. That's how it. Okay, that's the dimmed one. Okay, that is good. All right, and let's start the uh, passenger announcement, and then I'll keep quiet now. Catch you guys in a bit. Hallo und herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam. But wait, there's more. Now let's go ahead and fast forward, and then we can start our ride. There you go. All Unser right. heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil... Uh, that's noisy. Sorry about that. ...wird von My bad. exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. This is a huge bus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information guys, about the I journey. Want to take a photo here. The wearing of seat belts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, sorry for the noise, but that just looks so good. Yeah, that one. Beautiful. Okay. And beverages. There's a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, 
No problem. Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone so you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. There we go, and I'm back. I am actually quite impressed with the lighting. The traffic lights you can see from afar, the the uh, vehicles, the lights from the vehicles from afar you can also see. So actually the lighting, the rendering for the lights are very good. I like that. I am impressed. Actually this is something I had that has not occurred to me to test specifically. How the graphics and the performance is like at night. And I must say... It's actually pretty interesting. I like it. Nights are really dark. So it does look pretty realistic. And just have a look at the speed limit. 100 now. I thought it was just 70. Don't think I will go 100 here though. It might be a bit too fast. Also, if these are familiar with uh, German laws, like on, in this road, we're not yet on an autobahn, right? Do I have to keep on the right side? Because in the autobahn, I remember I should not be on the leftmost lane because that's only for overtaking. But like in the autobahn, can I stay in the middle? Or if because I'm a bus, should I be always on the right side like a truck? And just maybe move to the left when overtaking? Move to the middle when overtaking? I don't really know the rules. It is much more comfortable for me to be in the inner lane, that is in the left side, the left lane, but this somehow just feels more right to me. Because I feel like I'm going to hassle a lot of cars if I stay on the left lane. Anyway, either way, we will make it work and I'll try not to crash. But no promises, right? No promises. Absolutely loving this game though. The physics definitely feels a lot more realistic. And it is actually pretty bouncy. You see that? You see how the, the cab actually bounces more and more? Might be the chair suspension or whatnot. But I am liking it and definitely f liking the feel of the force feedback. Just enough pressure in there. Absolutely amazing. And here we go. Sunrise is uh, peeking out bit by bit. So you can see the sky slowly transitioning from purple. It was pitch black a while ago, became dark purple. Now it's slowly transitioning to yellow, yellowish, orangish. And pretty soon, you should see the sun here now. Now we are, I think, more like facing north, northwest. So the sun should be rising behind us if I'm getting my directions correctly. But you will see. Yeah, I love the transition though, it's very subtle. How the sky transforms. And all with that, you can see the clouds still moving, still dynamically transforming. I love the weather effects in this game. And I love that it has built-in seasonal support so I'm really excited for to drive this when it comes to when winter comes and whatnot but yeah the dynamic weather is quite interesting they've improved it a lot since then since the beginning actually they've improved most of the game aspects so the, we still have headlights on and I'm actually wondering how that works. Slow down a bit here. There we go, we are entering.
entering a city. And lanes are merging. That's fine. So we don't need to always be at the speed limit. We can be just... We can just take our time and enjoy the scenery, right? Here we are. wonder what town this is. Looks pretty cozy. weird thing is yeah it's uh, this bus does feel a bit heavy when you stop even if you don't do a full stop it feels like it just doesn't want to move anymore after you slow down at a certain point like when you're traveling at around five kilometers per hour or slower it feels like you are when you start want to start to, to go again it feels like you're driving uphill I don't know it's weird Maybe something weird with the, the bus physics of this particular bus. I didn't feel that at all with the VDL. But maybe it's a... It depends on how the, the, the bus itself was modeled. Speaking of the bus, have you guys seen the latest devlog from TML? So they are... They have been hinting on a new game called The Bus. Yeah, <laughs> very creative. But I guess there is no other... There is no, uh, how do you say, more accurate, more fitting representation of what the game will be about. And I guess it's the spiritual successor to OMSI. That's what I'm hoping for. Everyone regards OMSI in some way. And some people love it the most. Some people hate it. But everyone absolutely loves a certain part of it. And that is the simulation aspect. Me, me included. Even though I hate its instability and I hate its old school graphics, I absolutely love how it really made you feel like you were driving a bus. And it's just absolutely amazing feeling when it works, that is. But yeah, it was just too unstable for me, so I... Uh, did I break a safety limit there? I probably did. Anyway, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the bus. This is done by TML as well. There is no release date yet, so we're not sure what they're planning when they're planning to release, but I'm hoping that when they do, they really make it a full-on simulation, not like a casual game. At the very least, it should have all the buttons like how Fernbus has it, and uh, maybe if they can manage, maybe they can also include like the IBIS, the ticketing system, and all the other exciting stuff that bus drivers can get like the buses like we do have bus simulator 18 and that's an amazing game it is a bit more on the casual side though so it's very nice for different levels of immersion like if people just want a, a casual bus driving experience then the bus simulator 18 is perfect but if you're looking for something a bit more hardcore when it comes to simulation, a bit more OMSI level, so to speak, it is a bit more on the casual side. And uh, I love the driving experience that, that that game gives, but yeah, it's a bit casual. And sometimes I'm looking for a more deep experience, you know, really working with the IBIS, like just how OMSI does it. Setting up the route and uh, working on an actual timetable you know stuff like that but it's I think it's the best bus simulator we have so far bus simulator 18 I don't think it's really I don't think we can really compare fern bus and bus simulator 18 because they yeah they're both buses in a way but they're very different kinds this is a coach so a very different system no ticketing no uh, giving change yeah, no programming the IBIS or whatnot so I don't think we can compare it but yeah if you're talking about real bus simulator not coach simulator I think bus simulator 18 would have my vote for now oh look at that sky has fully transitioned from a dark purple now to a subtle blue and what, what is that flesh peachy sky of it. I'm going to stay here on the right side just because I'm such a huge bus and uh, I think it's 
safe safer this way for all the motorists involved maybe I just overtake when a bus uh, when a truck slows me down or something and I am seeing a truck up ahead we're catching up to it bit by bit because they are limited to 80 kilometers we are not we can go up to 100 supposedly but yeah the driving experience is definitely uh, it, it's, it definitely feels like driving now <laughs> it's just so relaxing love it maybe we can do a couple of silent busing episodes I don't know some people don't like that for sure I, don't, I know Captain uh, Jesse is not fond of the no commentaries but yeah maybe I can mix it up I can like tone down on the commentary for a bit Yeah, we can also do like Q&A's in these videos. Actually, I, I remember I should have tried that. But maybe I'll announce it more beforehand. And then we can, oh, yo, yo, what the heck is that guy doing? That looks super scary and apparently I should be swerging, merging to the right now. So let me slow down here. Let this guy pass. I don't want to be behind that guy. He drives scary. There we go, that was some reckless driving on my end, I should have seen the, the exit earlier. But yeah, performance is very good, right? I mean, sometimes it's not 60 frames, but for the graphics we're seeing, it's beautiful. Alright, turn right here. There's also a retarder that I was enabling bit by bit. Whoa, what's happening there? So I need the sky changed. Oh, there's the sun. There's the sun rays. Beautiful. The transition was a bit abrupt there. There was something like a blinding light for a second. But not too bad. Pretty soon we might need to get some sun shades though. We'll see how we can work it that. I think I actually forgot the hotkey for it. So we'll have to look for it in the the panel in front of us. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Okay, looks like we are arriving at our first stop. Let me move to the left lane here. Here we are. Was there someone honking at me? Or is that just an ambient sound? Wait a minute, this is not where we turn left. Yeah, th this one, look at that, super heavy. When we reach like five kilometers per hour, it would not move. Feels like starting from scratch. Okay, go. Ah, oh, beautiful sky. The, the sun rays seem a bit weird at times. It feels like more like, you know, like the Batman light? It feels like that sometimes. It's a bit weird. Time to shine. Man, this is heavy. The lanes here in uh, German cities are very tricky. Some are like left turn only, and it's kind of hard to see beforehand unless you see the, the paint on the ground. But if there's like a car in front of you, you won't see the paint. And it'll be too late before then. I'm guessing there should be like a left turn only sign. I don't know. Something I'm missing maybe. Let's move here. Like this one. How do you know that's left turn without seeing that white sign on the ground? Uh, well, I guess. Yeah, well, we could take a look at that. The traffic light does say it. So we should be paying it more, paying closer attention to it, to be fair. Oh, that's very loud. Might have to tone the volume a bit down. Right now, I think master volume is at 80. Previously, it was at 60. Maybe it'll stick to 70. Maybe that's the right balance. 
from inside though I think the volume is perfect but outside it's a bit loud if I can tone down just the exterior volume that would be amazing oh, pumps up ahead speed bumps let's get a bit of space for turning here because we are a huge bus there we are are we early? I have no clue. We will see soon enough. Well, then no one complained, but no one said we were early either, so I guess we are okay. Kinda ish. Alright. Go ahead, guys. Get your bags. Let's check in people. Uh, where are we going again? Yeah, branch fight. We are going there. For sure. Yes, same. I I I I I I I I remember they forgot to lock the luggage. Should remember that next time. Okay, we're very good. Punch bike. This bird. Why does that feel look very weird? No, it's it's okay. Punch bike is there. Last stop, okay. Let's have a look here. Check in. Everybody's checked in. Okay. In terms of timing, we are late. Dang it. Yeah. Okay. Shoo. I'm a bit late. All right. That's fine. We can make up for it. Now everything should be good already. We just need to play the announcement. Catch you guys in a bit. Hello and herzlich willkommen bei Flixbus. Wir freuen uns, dass ihr an Bord seid und wir gemeinsam unser heutiges Reiseziel ansteuern. Bevor wir richtig in Fahrt kommen, hier ein paar Hinweise. Auch bei uns im Bus gilt die gesetzliche Anschnallpflicht. Bitte schnallt euch deshalb während der gesamten Fahrt an. In den Sitztaschen vor euch findet ihr unsere Bordkarte mit weiteren Sicherheitshinweisen und Infos zu unserem Snack- und Getränkeangebot. Eine Toilette befindet sich im hinteren Einstiegsbereich. Wer kostenlos surfen will, wählt sich einfach in unser WLAN-Netz ein. Unser Reisetipp fürs Internet? Schaut doch mal auf unserer Facebook-Page vorbei. Unser Team freut sich riesig über eure Likes und Nachrichten. Sollte euer Akku zu Neige gehen? Kein Problem. Viele unserer Sitze sind mit Steckdosen ausgestattet und entsprechend gekennzeichnet. So könnt ihr euer Smartphone die gesamte Fahrt über nutzen. Wenn ihr eure nächste Fahrt auch gleich mobil buchen wollt, holt euch einfach unsere App und profitiert von exklusiven Online-Angeboten. Auf flixbus.de stehen täglich brandaktuell alle Infos und Städteverbindungen für euch bereit. Natürlich wollen wir unseren Service ständig weiter verbessern. Für Feedback zu eurer Fahrt nutzt bitte den Fragebogen, den wir euch per E-Mail zuschicken. Wir danken für eure Aufmerksamkeit und wünschen eine entspannte Fahrt und viel Spaß an Bord bei Flixbus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. We're glad to have you on board and that we can get you to your favorite destination today. Before we set off, we would like to share some information about the journey. The wearing of seatbelts is compulsory on board the bus. Therefore, please keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the entire journey. In the seat pocket in front of you, you will find our information card containing further safety instructions and details of our snacks and beverages. There is a restroom located in the rear boarding area. If you would like to browse the internet free of charge, simply log on to our onboard Wi-Fi network. If your battery runs out, no problem. 
Many of our seats are equipped with power outlets, which are marked accordingly. If you would like to book your next journey while you're on the road, simply download our app onto your smartphone, where you can take advantage of our many exclusive online discounts. For more information, simply visit flixbus.com or get in touch with us on Facebook. Of course, we're always striving to improve our service. Please use the questionnaire we send you by email to give us feedback about your journey. You can also use it to share your suggestions, ideas and requests. We are always ready to assist. And now, we can finally set off. Thank you for listening. We hope you have a relaxing journey and enjoy traveling with Flixbus. Okay. Let's have a look. We have 6.02 at the moment. We need to be there at around 7.24 if I'm reading this right. And these traffic lights are not helping at all. Let's double check our phone. 7.24 we should be there. Also we need to do a rest. Ah, interesting. Okay, at 8 o'clock. And we have to follow that. Alright, that looks interesting. I wonder how this works. Um, let's have a look at the map. Uh, we are halfway there. Huh, that's actually interesting. If I need to take a break, can I take a break before we get to Magdeburg? Uh, before we get to Wolfsburg? I'm not sure. Yeah, because after Wolfsburg we have to rest, but there is no rest area here. So I guess we just rest anywhere. Huh, interesting. Okay. Actually, you know what? This might actually be a bit long. Because it's 37 minutes in already. It might actually be good do this in two parts, do you guys think? Hmm. You know what, let's do that, because I think it will take around 30 minutes more. So we will uh, catch each other in the next episode, okay? I will just look for a an area where we can maybe stop and rest, or uh, take a breather. And then we'll see. Actually, this is a good spot. Maybe I can take a photo here even. Stop here in the middle of the road. Why not? Oh, that's a beautiful area. Yes. Stop here. Take some sightseeing. How do you open the blinkers? I don't know. No, that's not it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back there for now. Let's leave the traffic where they are. I'll catch you guys in the next episode, okay? Catch you in part 2. Clumsy buzzing and bye-bye. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, comment, share, and all that stuff. Thanks and bye-bye, guys.